Another important property of Fourier transform is what happens when you multiply x of t by t to the power of n. To find its Fourier transform, first find Fourier transform for x of t, which is equal to x of omega, and then differentiate it with respect to omega n times, and then the result multiplied by j power n. We'll take a simple example. What happens if only you multiply it by t? Means n is equal to 1 in this case. So Fourier transform of t to the power to t multiplied by x of t. We'll find x of omega, differentiate it one time, and then the result multiplied by j. Let's see an interesting example. Let's see that uh, if the question is find Fourier transform of this function and this function is t but not actually t from negative infinity to infinity you know t here is defined over the time interval from t equal negative 2 up to uh, t equal positive 2 and then to the right of positive 2 is 0 to the left of negative 2 is 0 so how can you do the Fourier transform of this signal you got two ways First one is just to use integral form and you integrate it from negative 2 to 2 and t and multiply it by e power minus g omega t and that's kind of a little bit complicated to take a long time. The other solution that to use the property say okay if you have this is your t and define over the all interval from t greater than negative infinity and less to negative infinity means all over the real number of t and then multiply it by the rectangular pulse of height one so what does it mean it means that when you multiply one by t you get t but here when t is less than negative two the value of the function is equal to zero and to the right of positive two is equal to zero so you are not going to take the all t you only take this portion from negative 2 to positive 2 and result in that so how you express this one you can express it by writing y of t y of t is equal to x of t this rectangular pulse and multiply it by t so in this case we can apply this formula so what you'll do it first find x of omega how you find x of omega that's x of t what's x of t x of t is a rectangular pulse of width equal 4 because it starts from negative 2 up to 2 and symmetric so that would be x of omega that's your tau sine omega tau over 2 pi so if you replace tau by 4 this will cancel you have 2 omega over pi so that's the Fourier transform of this rectangle pulse of width 4. And now you put in the formula y of omega will be equal to first you put x of omega, differentiate it one time with respect to omega, and then multiply it by j. And that's x of omega. Let's just do it here. That will be, let's just look at it 4 sink 2 omega divided by pi and then differentiate that one time and then the result multiplied by g to differentiate sink a function we are not familiar with that so we are going to convert sink to sine using this form sink z equal to sine z pi divided by z pi in this case we can write sync 2 omega over pi equal compare this is z is 2 omega over pi be sign multiply z by pi so this is your z multiplied by pi 2 omega over pi multiplied by pi you get 2 omega so it's equal to sine 2 omega divided by 2 omega now i will put sync here in this function so y of omega will equal j differentiation with respect to omega you got 4 
and the sink will be replaced by sine 2 omega divided by 2 omega to differentiate with respect to omega what you will do you will have four constant outside and g and then you differentiate the function with respect to omega which is sine 2 omega by oh we have two here also so divide by two outside you have omega on the inside how you differentiate this one well that's simple all what you're supposed to do that's 2j and we differentiate be equal the denominator square, uh, square differentiation of uh, sine will be cosine 2 omega multiplied by 2 and multiplied by omega minus sine 2 omega multiplied by differentiation of omega which is equal to 1 so what I did here differentiation of rational function when you find the differentiation of this one will be a dash b minus a b dash over b squared that's what i did if you want to repeat again that will be equal to two time or oh, two j i'm sorry and then you have two time omega time cosine two omega minus sine two omega over omega square so that will be the uh, uh, Fourier transform of the small triangle form that we just uh, did so uh, I hope that uh, that was helpful